Hello, my name is DJ Karasak, and welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Aung. He asks, what's so special about Facebook React compared to other front-end frameworks? So to answer this question, let's focus mainly on React. Uh, the other frameworks have been around for a while, so React's kind of the new guy, so let's talk about it and what separates it from the other ones. Now, the main thing about React is that it's the UI component of your application. It's, it's the visuals, it's the V and the MVC. They also have something paired with it called Flux, which you handle the rest of that architecture. You know, you handle the data models and that kind of stuff with that. But let's mainly for this uh, conversation here focus on React. Now one of the cool things about React is it's all based on components. You build individual components and build out your views and your modals and your etc. by those individual pieces. So you will have a button that you use on multiple different spots and that button will be an individual component itself. Uh, it'll be a single file. Building everything out in components isn't necessarily anything new and great, but one thing that does kind of separate React out is that you have this more uh, compartmentalized way of organizing your code as well. It's pretty common with most other frameworks that you have a separation of your technologies, your CSS over here, your HTML here, and your JavaScript over there. One of the great things about React is you can, with using JSX, combine all that into one simple file which is great for small applications, but you still have the power of taking the code out and leaving it modular for when applications are bigger and you need to share these individual kind of things. Now, on top of everything being individualized and in components, they also have their own individual state. And where that ties in is with React, you have something called a virtual DOM. Essentially what React does is it keeps its own copy of the DOM up and it runs a diff between what you're doing and what's changing and what's remaining the same. So instead of having to re-render the entire page, you're just re-rendering the individual component that has a state change, which makes it very powerful and a lot faster in terms of different visual elements happening. You know, instead of having to re-render a whole page just to update one little box, you're just updating that one little box. Another really great advantage to using React is this concept of learn once, write everywhere. So with typical frameworks, whenever you want to move into the world of mobile, you still have to learn Swift, Objective-C, or Java, depending to maintain the various plugins that go into it. And on top of that, those frameworks are just building to a web view that's housed within a native application. So that means that your rendering is somewhat hindered by the processing power of that web view and what it's able to accomplish. But with React, you're actually building native components. So you're using the you know, native rendering engine on the device itself, which keeps your UI and your JavaScript separated. So if there's ever a blocking operation in your code, it's not stopping the user interface from being able to be scrolled through and uh, still have a good user experience. And finally, I should mention that other frameworks are taking note to what React's doing differently. For instance, the Angular team did actually meet with the React team to talk about how they could implement native themselves. Well, that's it for today's episode. As always, tweet your questions at hashtag AskDev or leave them in the comments below.